Hi everyone, Beck from Gap here. Um, I have taken the opportunity while we're all in this lockdown together to foster for Gap. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's really nice to have a dog in the house. Um, my mate here, who's looking pretty relaxed. This is Kobe. He, he has a home lined up, but unfortunately with what's going on at the moment, um, he's ended up with me in foster care for the next few weeks. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to go through sort of a real life settling in with you guys um, and yeah, just keep you updated on progress and sort of my expectations along the journey, what I'm looking for um, when settling in a dog and just how we can make their lives a bit easier. So he's been with me for nearly 48 hours now. So when we arrived home, Firstly, I made sure that my crate was set up. I had treats organized. I had everything that I needed before I went to get him. So he, when we arrived back home, I popped him out of the car. We went for a wander just around the fence line for a bit and trying to encourage him to go to the toilet. And so we, he was very successful with that. Um, and then we came inside and I just popped him straight into his crate with a few treats and then left him alone for a couple of hours. Uh, I beetled around in the kitchen so he could see me, but I largely ignored him. So he is a bit squeaky. He does like to have a whinge and a whine, um, which again is perfectly normal with a, with a new dog. Uh, the world has been turned on its head. So just letting him figure that out, I'm just ignoring that for now. Um, we're keeping a pretty regular toileting routine, so out every two hours at the moment. Over the next few days, I'll sort of drag that out but at the moment we want to be successful so that means regular toileting uh, i'm offering treats when he does that so often um, when we're settling in a, a new dog they won't want to take treats so the first few times out he did not want want treats from me he was really interested in the environment what was going on and and that's fine i just let that go um i've been pretty quiet with him just so not talking to him not lots of words not lots of commands, expectations, just really quiet and um, but when he gets things right, uh, good boy. So he, I think he's starting to think his name is good boy. But um, yeah, keeping those expectations low is really important as is just managing, managing the dog for the first little while just so they can figure out which way is up is probably a nice way to put it. So today I have up the ante a little bit just around door manners. Um, He's quite, quite good at trying to dive out in front of you. So to manage that at the moment, I'm just using my body. So I'm just using body language and physically blocking him. And I'm not opening the door until he backs off. So there's no, again, no, no sort of verbal cues. Um, just letting him figure out what's going get to him, get him out the door and out through the gate. Um, feeding. If you've talked to me recently, I've probably mentioned muffin tins. Uh, muffin tins are great just for adding a, a bit of interest and a bit of longevity to feeding time. So I've just popped a bit of peanut butter, a bit of coconut oil um, with his kibble, with some, with some meat as well, and just sort of smeared that around in, in, the, in the muffin cups. And it just makes their food last a little bit longer. So he has had that for breakfast for the last two mornings. Uh, yesterday was in the crate and this morning was actually out in the car, po car pa port that I fenced off um, with some temporary fencing just so we've got a bit of an area there as I also have free range chickens so we just want to keep everyone safe. Um, so yeah it's been a pretty uneventful day a uh, couple of days and the, the hardest thing has to be that I just want to squish and just yeah give them lots of attention and affection but of course that's not actually that helpful to these guys when we're trying to settle them in. So again largely ignoring them, lots of praise when he gets it right and I will pop another video in the comments of a little training game that we've just started today and he's he's doing really well at it so check that out and um, yeah obviously comment away and I'll be doing these pretty regularly uh, just to let you know sort of the progress and what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve. So take care everyone and yeah, we'll catch up soon.